August 20th. It's coming right. We're only a couple of weeks away. Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk. Um, Galau, I'm going to come straight to you. Repeat or revenge? You know what? It's I don't know. I don't know if I want to stand the fence with this one, but I've got to I've got to go with our boy Anthony Joshua. Yeah. I've got to, I know Usyk's he's a great fighter. He won the first fight, but I've probably got to roll with with AJ. But you know what, I'm sitting on the fence. Oh, no, no, know. it's a tough one, and I can understand why. Tony, you're probably the best person to ask. You've, you know, you've been to AJ's camp. You know AJ for a long time. You fought Alexander Usyk. Um, so I'll ask you, repeat or revenge? He's, he's an anomaly. He's the most difficult man to face in boxing right now. Who's active? Sorry, you know. Pound for pound, pound number one. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Uh, he's just so hard to figure out at the end. If you haven't figured them out by six rounds, then it's, it's very, very difficult. You know, it really is. So you've got to go in there. It's, it's literally a seek and destroy mission. But you can't just go all guns blazing straight away because if it was that easy, everyone would have done it in the past. You've got to break them down slowly. You've got to hit the body. There's so many different things you've got to do. And you've got to be consistent with it. Can Anthony do it? Yes, he can. He has all the ability. He has all the, the physical attributes to do it. But it's can he unlock it up here to get it to get the Bob uh, job Gilles, done? Were you surprised by AJ's performance the first time they fought? I was, yeah. Um, I just thought he'd probably use his size. Um, I know Usyk was coming up from cruiserweight. We all know he's a great southpaw. He's skillful. He's an Olympic champion. He's he, he's a brilliant boxer. I thought probably Josh would use his, his weight and his, his strength. Um, but I just don't think he was fit enough to do it, um, as you saw from the later rounds, and music was. Um, but hopefully he's trained, he's trained to be fit for the full 12 rounds this time, and hopefully he can knock him out earlier. Uh, no more Rob McCracken, right? A successful time with Rob McCracken, became unified heavyweight champion. Now Robert Garcia, who in his own right is a very, very good trainer. What can Robert Garcia bring different to the table that Rob McCracken maybe didn't? Make no mistake. It's regardless of who the trainer is in the corner, the fighter is going to do what he needs to do, and he's going to he's going to revert to type. Yeah. So, so when someone punches you in the face, you don't think, "Oh, what did he tell me? What to do?" No, you react, you respond. Your body works for you, and you do what's best for you. So, look look past trainers, Addy. You know, don't get me wrong. You can train with a certain way, with a certain style, with a certain coach, and that's great in Spartan and in camp. But when you get in the ring on the night. You are going to do exactly what you prepared to do, and has he prepared for a big, big fight? And that's what he needs to do.